Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to do a join. It's actually a spatial join. And I'm also going to show you uh, the difference between that and relate. So I'll do a relate uh, and also uh, a quick uh, demonstration of a relationship class in the GEO database as well. So it's really just to sort of cover all, all bases about joins and, and relates. So what I've got here is just just to what what map I've got here. I've got uh, some sample open source pubs pub data. And uh, when I click on one of these, um, I will get the dog and gun, a pub, and there's the structure. And I've also got these postcodes underneath. Click on that one, le22, and you can see the data there. Uh, note the district. It's in a district called AD. That's something I've already sort of pre-processed. Uh, I've just already um, done that. The idea is I wanted to break uh, these postcodes up into areas. So you can see how there's AA, AB, AC and AD. Uh, and they're differentiated by these colours. OK, so what I've got these two attribute um, uh, views open. So in the postcodes you can see there's a district column and in the actual pubs data itself which are the points uh, there is no uh, such column so that's really what I want to bring across it's to clarify for each of these pubs uh, what district are they in and actually have that um, stored in a table that's a that's a, a key point to, to make here about uh, a, a a join. Um, when you when you do a spatial join, it's going to create a new table, um, whereas uh, normal attribute join is actually uh, temporary. So with the spatial join, we're going to create a uh, a brand new table, and we'll create it in this Leicester GDB uh, over here. So you'll see it appear. So when I right click on, um, so it's actually it, it, it's actually the pubs where I want to effectively attach this district code from the postcode. So that my district column, I want to attach um, that to pubs. So I click right click on pubs, go to joins and relates, and say spatial join. So. And, and you know the key difference between add join and spatial add join is just looking up for a common field. That's all you got. One code in one table matches another code in another, so join them together. Um, so so it's the same sort of um, process going on, just just a different way to, to to clarify how the join is done. So the the target is the pubs themselves, and I want to grab some data from the postcodes, i.e., this my district field. That's what I really want. Let's call it, um, uh, first of all, actually, let's let's change the output class. So it definitely goes to um, my Leicester table. I've got a few geodatabases going on here. So it's going to go in there. And I'm going to call it, um, I don't know, pubs joined. Yeah. So that's my feature class. That's what I'm going to create. So actually, for, for each of these pubs, there's only one district it can belong in. You, you, you know, the, 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 these pubs are either... In A, 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 B, A, C, or A, D. They're, they're only in one of them. So the operation is a one-to-one. -one. Uh, but I do I do want to drop those where it doesn't work. Because I can see quite clearly there are these pubs on the outskirts of my postcode data. So I'm just saying, you know, if I, if I left this ticked, it'll just come up as null in the um, district field. So I'm going to uncheck, uncheck that, saying I'm actually not interested in any that doesn't belong in our in our district area. So what's the matching option? How is this done? Well, this is within, because it's where a pub is within a postcode. In fact, if we show something like contains, you see how it generates an error, because that's not um, that's not valid. It says relationship invalid, uh, because um, a point cannot contain a polygon. So it's within. But there's lots of options here for whatever geometry you've got. Not fussed about the actual search rec radius it's literally on the XY where the pub is but let's have a little look at the fields 
So there's these these sort of field parameters, uh, these fields that I can um, keep or or, or lose. Um, so I will kind of tidy this up, my resultant join table. I'm going to get rid of this lat file. I'm, I'm just taking advantage really of, of being able to clear up um, these fields. Not interested in that one, not interested in that one, not interested in that one. So my resultant points um, of pubs are just going to contain these fields. There's a few there's a few other settings over here. Um, don't uh, you know, I'll probably go into these another time in a different way, but but there's a few sort of properties to set like aliases and stuff, but um, I won't, won't dive into those right now. Press OK. Kind of just accepting the default. Uh, so let's just turn off less pubs on the, see it's automatically joined, uh, sorry, automatically added it to the contents here. So I've got this table called pubs joined. If I go over to the right hand side on the catalog view and just hit F5, you'll see pubs joined is now in the geodatabase quite correctly. So what happens when we click on one of these points? Uh, we get, um, well, we obviously get the postcode underneath. Let's turn that off for a second, um, just to clear the decks. So we get the name of the pub wherever I click, but we also get the district. And that's exactly what I was after. I wanted to bring across the district of it. Turn the Leicester postcodes back on. And quite rightly, so if I click on uh, this one here, so that's AC, if I click on that one, my district must say, or the district should be AC. And there you go, it's AC. So there you go, that worked. Uh, I've got a join table. It's a effectively a permanent thing. It's not like a view and I'll cover views in a different tutorial, a uh, different video. Uh, this is very permanent. It is uh, written to the database, and at any time we can just bring that across. Let's remove, pubs joined, drag it back in, and here we are. So you'll always have that link uh, between the pub point and uh, what was data in the postcode, which is the district code, AD. Okay, so, that's a whole new feature set. Okay, one thing about a normal add join is it will only save the join with your map document. So, um, but a spatial join forces for, forces the creation of a of a feature class. You'll always end up with a, um, a sort of hard written permanent feature class when you do a spatial join. Okay, so. Um, what we'll do now is do a relate, and this will show you the, um, the, the, the differences. So what, what, I, what I'd like to do, and again, it's always good to know exactly what your end goal is. What's, what, what are you trying to achieve here? What I'd like to achieve is that when I click on one of these postcodes, so I've got these Leicester postcodes in districts, I'd like to be able to click on one. So you see how it's highlighted that one which is LE22, but it is in the AD district. So when I click on it, I also want it to bring back all the pubs that are related to it. So just because I clicked on that one, it would bring back all these other ones in this light bluish color. It'll make a relationship. So how do you do that? So the, the, the idea is that, um, and, and again, what I'm gonna do here is as a relate, when you add a relate, it is also stored in the map document. So the we'll do this firstly as a sort of temporary thing that exists in the map document only. Um, and then we'll do it in the um, sort of geo, geo database. So I go to joins and relates, add relate. So to, to my post guides, I want to make a relationship across the district column, using the district column. And if, if you look at um, this one here, it says the table or view to be related to the input one. Well, that is pub joined. Because don't forget, pubs joined has got the district code in it. So we've got our, our link. So the, the relate has to be via these two common um, fields. So what do we want to call that? 
um, let, well, we'll call it we'll call it pubs um, uh, relate. Okay, pubs relate, and uh, this uh, this is a one to many because what I'm what I'm saying is one of these post guides, one of these bits, uh, these polygons that I click on will have one or more, and actually in all cases it'll have multiple dots points within it as pub points press okay okay so when you first look at it you think well what's what's happened here can't can't really see anything let's just turn off pubs join for a second we've just got these polygons well let's click on one of them and you'll see that let's just bring it up a bit that's I've clicked on um, this LE53 click on the little arrow there and it says there's 86 related records ie all these pubs are in district AC so there's quite a few and actually if we turn on the well it doesn't matter which one but the pubs um, yeah it's quite AC is well AC does include quite a bit of the city center so it's not surprising so I guess if I went out to maybe this light blue one so if I clicked on uh, postcode in AD so really I'm clicking on AD itself um, but that postcode uh, has uh, an AD district code and that's how the relationship is formed with the pubs and there's 31 and it just lists them all and there they are so there's the White House and when you click on one you can uh, press this button down here to zoom in uh, if it's not far enough you can just use the arrow or whatever uh, you can um, flash it it's just on the edge there it's that one there I think by scrapped off let's flash it again yeah but I can force it to select so now it's in select mode so it's that one there so you see how wherever I click so let's click on AA and then click on this little arrow and then there's 39 39 pubs um, all in this AA district so let's um, and, you, and you can see that if I click on that pub Willow and there you go it says AA so hopefully that's that, that that's sort of clear and you can see that but but the relate is like I said it's it's not stored anywhere it's it's by uh, it, it's within this map document it's in this sort of project file so if you so if I look at Leicester Postcodes and go back to joining relates, you can see it's got uh, these options: remove relate, remove all relates, because you can you can have multiple relates uh, and sort of keep on adding them. I don't know what the limit is. Um, so, but but it's part of this map document. It's not it's not really um, it's not stored in the database. So let's remove it. Let's remove them all. Okay, the relate is gone. If I click on a polygon. It's straightforward. That's good all it is okay so how, how do we make it sort of permanent well you can do that inside your geo database so what you do is you click on the database right click and say new relationship class click on that and and it get, okay okay so what's the what, what what's the origin um, of of the uh, data well it's the pubs join uh, table and um, you can effectively drag that across and drag it from the contents into it. And the destination is the postcodes. Okay, uh, we'll just leave the out. So it's, this is a name it's gonna give it actually. Is, it, is that going in? Uh, yeah, less GDB, that's okay. I'll leave the name it is. It's just a simple direct relationship. Um, I'm not bothered about that uh, the rest of it I'll leave for the moment and ha how is it um, sort of linked well well it's it's one to many and the origin primary key is district and of course the foreign key is also district so this is going to create uh, this relationship class actually in the database itself so we're kind of entering the same information we did before um, but this time we're um, seeing uh, seeing it written to the geodatabase itself so click on the polygon click 
click on the down arrow and you get all the data just like before but this is coming from the database so let's remove postcodes let's remove that so the postcodes are gone now let's just add postcodes so all I've done is add postcodes but when I click it comes back with the relationship there's 39 in there there's um, 67 in that one in AB that's quite a big one so you see how it's actually it knows about the relationship the geo database understands that there's a relationship class there and so it must be um, brought across um, w w along with this uh, destination which is the, the postcodes ie way the data ended up where it's supposed to end up um, ie click on a polygon and get all your data um, just finally if you click on the the um, that that relationship class you can see these little arrows there it's a different icon you can go to view metadata and the metadata will just give you a bit of info about when and you know what 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 how the class was created it's one to many what are they what are the keys used that sort of thing um so you, you know you've got that bit of sort of history there which um might be um, useful to you and also you can just go to properties and that gives just same kind of information uh, the same kind of information just in this simple um, uh, sort of breakdown uh, there's a few other settings in in relate uh, relationship classes and I am going to cover those off in a sort of part two really but but hopefully that's enough just just to get you going and um, uh, and understand the difference between um, join and relate and you know with 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 those with those joins uh, you, you, you're really joining on a on a on a sort of one to one type thing, um, and if you're using a shape file, it'll it'll just pick up the the first one it finds anyway. Um, so you're always better working in geodatabases. And with relate, it's really very much about you. You've just got loads of other records associated with something, um, and it might even, it even be the other way around. You might you might want to click on a point and then highlight uh, identify all the polygons that relate um, to that point. But in this case, it's click on a polygon. And highlight all the points that were related to the polygon so there's a there's a clear difference there and it's, it's a good way of seeing um, data from lots of other layers um, because of course you can um, have lots of uh, relationship classes anyway I hope you find that useful thank you